All right. It's a real quick video I wanted to make, and uh, I'm gonna be making these um, uh, series of videos. I just woke up, so um, about the uh, the Big Bang uh, theory and the total bullshit that it is. And I just got to say right off the bat, okay, you don't have to be a physicist or smart even, right? You just have to be able to know how to read uh, to understand that there is no evidence whatsoever uh, that this Big Bang ever actually occurred. And uh, I, like I said, I found out about this in uh, 2002 by reading. I know it's an ancient and archaic uh, ritual, but you can actually learn a lot when you read. And um, I'm making these videos um, about the the Big Bang, and the the first one should be done later today or uh, or tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, talk real quick about an article I just came across, and uh, I'm gonna actually I haven't read the actual paper yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find it online. Um, but it's from a um, Indian scientist, so I guess you'd say his name is Lal, uh, and uh, the paper is called Big Bang: A Critical Review. And uh, I just want to read a real quick snippet. I'm going to put the article in the description. There's a growing body of evidence which demonstrates the universe could not have begun with the Big Bang 13.75 billion years ago. Well, no shit. I didn't have to be a scientist to know that. Indeed, the day may come when it is determined there never was a Big Bang and cosmologists of the future will only gaze back in wonder at how anyone could have believed in a creation event which was refuted by so many, much contradictory evidence, he adds. And that is exactly what I've been saying for years. Okay? Science is like an orthodox religion. Okay? It is controlled by funding. Okay, if you go off the cusp and you bring other theories to the table that are not in the mainstream, you lose your funding, you're out of business. Okay, there is money involved here. So these fringe theories and alternative theories to the Big Bang, right, after looking into this for many years, are more realistic than this ridiculous Big Bang theory. Okay, this super string bullshit. Dark matter, dark energy, it's irrelevant. They're never going to find it. Or they're going to tailor their findings to fit or alter uh, the current Big Bang model. But as it stands right now, there is no evidence, okay, that this Big Bang allegedly ever fucking happened, okay? And I, the reason I make such a big deal about it is because when you're trying to, you're trying to break down all the lies, Okay, we, when you when you wake up one day and realize that everything that we know and been taught is a total fucking lie, it's a it's a very uh, reality altering experience. But by implication, the Big Bang would be the biggest lie. And uh, at its core, it just goes to show that the scientific method is not being applied with theories. Okay, uh, global warming. Need I say more? Okay, and that is crumbling to bits. Pollution is the problem. Global warming is a scam. Just to clarify. Anyway, so I want I want people to check out this article, and I'm I'm definitely going to check out that paper. And uh, in I'm going to make a four part video series. Um, the four pillars of the Big Bang, and there are many many discrepancies. Uh, with the Big Bang Theory. But uh, I want to keep it as simple as possible. Because like I said, you don't have to be smart or even read in that scientific language to figure this shit out. It's actually pretty fundamental. There are other theories that are more suitable and plausible uh, to explain the existence of the visible universe. And they are... I'm not going to go... I'm not going to push any particular theory because... Uh, some have different aspects. They need to be blended together. A theory of everything. That's what they're looking for, right? But getting back to the core here, uh, the Big Bang Theory, is it's going to be proven to be a fucking joke. Scientists will look back and they will laugh 
at what people believed. It's a flat earth mentality. Okay, humans are going through another stage of the evolution of the mind, but that is suppressed by the scientific orthodoxy, right? Just like the Catholic Church tried to si silence Galileo. It's the same thing going on, history repeating itself. You don't have to be smart to figure that out. Um, it, overall, it's a, it's a harmless, it's not like, you know, anybody's being hurt by this crime, right? No one's being scammed out of money. You know, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not being taxed for cosmic rays just yet, right? Because they affect the climate or some shit. But the point is, is that it's just a prime example of how these theories are put forth and these all these grand ideas and then all these other theories are spawned off of the theories and it's just an exponential negative all right it goes in the exact wrong direction and uh it's just really hard to watch i mean people are so fucking arrogant uh people haven't even explored 90 percent of the bottom of the ocean and you're telling me that that some fucking brilliant people can sit around and go, oh yeah, the universe began as a super hot, infinitesimal, uh, small point in space and just blew up. And now everything's here. Talk about arrogance. And it's just fucking unbelievable. So anyway, check out this article and uh, uh, interesting, interesting stuff. So hopefully this, uh, this paradigm comes crashing down. And uh, there's a lot more that need to follow. Global warming, 9-11, war on terror, on and on and on. It's all bullshit.